nutrition to strengthen nutritional content delivery outreach and outcome we will merge the supplementary nutrition program and the portion abhiyan and launch the mission portion 2.0 we shall adopt an intensified strategy to improve nutritional outcomes across 112 aspirational districts universal coverage of water supply the world health organization has repeatedly stressed the importance of clean water sanitation and clean environment as a prerequisite to achieving universal health the jal jeevan mission urban will be launched it aims at universal water supply in all 4378 urban local bodies with 2.86 crores household tap connections as well as liquid waste management in 500 amrit cities it will be implemented over 5 years with an outlay of 2 lakh 87000 crores swachh bharat and swasth bharat for further swachhata of urban india we in, intend to focus on complete fecal sludge management and waste water treatment source segregation of garbage reduction in single use plastic reduction in air pollution by effectively managing waste from construction and demolition activities and bio remediation of all legacy dump sites the urban swachh bharat mission 2.0 will be implemented with a total financial allocation of 1 lakh 41678 crores over a period of 5 years from 2021 clean air to tackle the burgeoning problem of air pollution i propose to provide an amount of 2217 crores of rupees for 42 urban centers with a million plus population in this budget scrapping policy we are separately announcing honorable speaker a voluntary vehicle scrapping policy to face out old and unfit vehicles this will help in encouraging fuel efficient environment friendly vehicles thereby reducing vehicular pollution and oil import bills vehicle vehicles would undergo fitness test in automated fitness centers after 20 years in case of personal vehicles and after 15 years in case of commercial vehicles details of the scheme will be separately shared by the ministry vaccines the pneumococcal vaccine a made in india product is presently limited to only five states it will be rolled out across the country this will avert more than 50000 child deaths annually honorable speaker i have provided 35000 crores of rupees for covid-19 vaccine in this year 2122 i am committed to provide further funds if required so the budget outlay for health and well being is 2 lakh 23846 crores in this be 2122 as against the be of only 94452 crores and it marks an increase of 137 percentage the details of the same are at annex 1 of the speech honorable speaker i now move to the second pillar physical and financial capital and infrastructure atmanirbhar bharat production linked incentive schemes are things which i would like to pay place an emphasis for a 5 trillion dollar economy our manufacturing sector has to grow in double digits on a sustained basis our manufacturing companies need to become an integral part of global supply chains 
possess core competence and cutting edge technology to achieve all of the above pli schemes to create manufacturing global champions for an atmanirbhar bharat have been announced for 13 sectors for this the government has committed nearly 1.97 lakh crores over 5 years starting this financial year this initiative will help bring scale and size in key sectors create a nurture global champions and provide jobs to our youth textiles to enable the textile industry to become globally competitive attract large investments and boost employment generation a scheme of mega investment textile spark will be launched in addition to the pli schemes this will create world class infrastructure with plug and play facilities to enable create global champions in exports seven textile parks will be established over 3 years infrastructure the national infrastructure pipeline which i announced in december 2019 is the first of its kind whole of government exercise ever undertaken by government of india the nip was launched with 6835 projects the project pipeline has now expanded to 7400 projects around 217 projects worth rupees 1.10 lakh crores under some key infrastructure ministries have been completed the nip is a specific target which this government is committed to achieving over the coming years it will require major increase in funding from both the government and the financial sector in this budget i propose to take concrete steps to do this in three ways firstly by creating the institutional structures secondly by a big thrust on monetizing assets and thirdly by enhancing the share of capital expenditure in central and state budgets 